Hey, this is Steve Good in the Coin Chat. I'm here with Wayne Grishti, CTO for Malta. Digital innovation. Digital innovation for Malta, that's right. So we'll have to speak a little bit loud because it is really loud in here in the Malta Blockchain Summit. So thank you, Wayne, for taking the time. This is super exciting. Um, you know, look, we, we see a lot of innovation coming out of Malta. We see that your prime minister comes to the show and your financial ministers come to the show. Just to give us a little bit of a flavor as to what is driving the Maltese government in particular to be so excited and enthusiastic about innovation and technology, unlike other countries? What's different about you guys? Yes, first of all, we, we are very lucky. Because uh, you have a beautiful island. Yeah, <laughs> apart from that. But, but um, the champions of innovation yeah. are, are the, our politicians. So that's something that we consider ourselves lucky. So we, we don't need to convince them. Right. So, so, so that's something that uh, that's very important as well. And uh, we, we saw an opportunity here. More do we don't have to make resources, so no. we need we need to. You have to a lot of stone and a lot of sand yeah. and a lot of but, yeah. But the natural resources. Right, lack of like resource, of course. So, so we had to, to base our economy on services. Right. And uh, we have the financial services, we have the gaming services, and now we have this innovation, innovation economy right. as well. And uh, we saw an opportunity a few years back um, uh, where the blockchain was an unregulated space. Right. And we thought that with putting a legal and regulatory framework in place, we can ensure and instill trust in the user to, to, to use the technology. Yeah. And what we did um, uh, last year, we enacted three, three laws in Parliament, one of them being the setting up of biopolity. Uh, yeah. And the other is to certify technology. Wow. Okay, cool. So, as an authority, um, uh, applicants can come forward to us yep. on, a, on a voluntary basis because they need to see the value in having their, security, their, their technology certified. Right. So they come to us on a voluntary basis. We have accredited systems or the test which yeah. will look in detail at the technology and they say, listen, yes, this product, this software, this technology is doing what the applicant, what the promoter right. is saying that it's doing. It's secure and the management of the solution is So, I mean, normally when you go to governments and you say, you know, you're going to approach them, it's normally regulations stopping them, preventing them, but you're describing something opposite, which is almost like a certification of, hey, we're giving you a stamp of approval to go for it, innovate, and then check in with us so we can help you to be more regulated and more compliant, not just your Malta, but I guess part of the European Union. Is that right? Yeah. Globally. Globally. Wow. Okay. We have an innovative legal framework as well. Okay. Because we are not regulating the technology, we are certifying the technology to instill trust, to ensure trust. Right. And that's what it's all about. Amazing. So how did you end up in this role? What was your background okay. that ended up getting you into a yes. CTO for innovation and blockchain and technology in Malta? Yeah. So I, I spent 17 years with the Malta Information Technology Agency, yeah. uh, an agency for government um, engineering solutions for government consulting and uh, enterprise architecture. And then I was appointed as a member of the Blockchain Task Force. Wow. And from there... The blockchain uh, Task Force? Yeah, we had a Blockchain Task Force. I mean, that's super, that's super cool. And a yeah. Blockchain Task Force for a country, that's great. And, uh, I love it. I was appointed CTO um, last October, right. not, not this October, not last year. And in November then, I had the opportunity to become the chairman of the AI Task Force as well. Okay. And, wow. Uh, and last month we published our uh, AI strategy as well. Oh cool, show those to the audience so we can see this. We have, we have a strategy for, for AI as well because our regular framework is technology agnostic. Okay. We started with blockchain and now we are expanding AI as well. The certification is only a part of it. Because this, this caters holistically for the AI ecosystem. Right, okay. Because our vision here is for more to become the ultimate AI launchpad. What do we mean by that? Companies can come to work now, design, build, test their software here, yeah. use as a, as a test bed, and then when they are ready to scale, they can springboard their products for And wow. we created an ecosystem for that So that's for both these, that's for the AI side of things. Yes. And on the blockchain side of things, what kind of frameworks have you got for that now? We have the legal framework, legal we have framework. the frame, certification framework, but we have a number of incentives as well. Okay. When it comes to innovation. Right, so and blockchain is 
something. So for, let's say for people who are listening to this, who are thinking I want to start a new project, I want to innovate, I want to get started, what, what do those frameworks provide them or the incentives? What are the incentives that would say, come to Malta, why would they, would, do they need to physically live here as well? Not necessarily. Okay, so can you just yeah, talk so, through some of those okay, um, so, incentives so, and frameworks? I think that's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. So, so when it comes to the product itself, they can certify it because they can go out there and say, listen, um, our product is certified, others. So our product is here, the others are there. So that, that is the something. You don't need to live here, but you have to, you have, to have presence and substance. In so if you have a company that is not um, registered in Malta, you can have an office in Malta sure. with a number of developers and senior people working. Other incentives include fiscal incentives, um, skills and talent related incentives, and we have a specific agency for that, the Malta Enterprise. Oh, okay, interesting. So, so there are a number of, uh, of schemes that uh, both startups and established companies can apply with the Malta Enterprise. Wow. And they have a single point of contact as well. So we don't need to go to the one. That's not you, is it? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just call Wayne, he's gonna take care of everything for you guys. He's the man. I'm yes. just kidding. <laughs> no. Yes, but I, I have very good context from the Mott Enterprise, of which uh, take really good care of uh, these prospective investors. Right. And like I said, you don't need to go to all the authorities, but you go to the Mott Enterprise and they guide you through the whole process until you are approved and even after that. Because the requirements of the company changes before they invest yeah. and along the years when they are operating. Sure. So this is good because you've actually got a framework that's an enabling framework, an enablement framework, not one that's like, stop, you have to get regulated for this and regulated for no, that, no. but it's more like, get here, get involved, work with us, we help you, we guide you, we show you the process so that you're actually giving them more in which they can open up doors rather than stopping them along the way like what we're seeing in other countries like dare I say Singapore and US, some, someone in Germany where they're stopping things from happening until you get approved first, you're actually kind of coming in the other way with here's the framework, follow the guidelines, come work with us, we'll help you, we'll enable you and come be in Malta because it's an amazing country. We want to be disruptors. We well, you, want, you are we disruptors, that's already clear. We don't want to stifle innovation. No, of that's, course that's very clear. So what's the next level of uh, disruption that Malta as a country is going to do? Because you've got, I mean, the way I see it is you've, you've got the, the gaming, the gambling, you've got the um, AI, you've got the blockchain, you've got the medical cannabis stuff going on, which is also an amazing thing to have going on here, although not part of our show. And I'm not sure YouTube wants us talking about that, so we'll, we'll gloss over that for the terms and conditions of whatever YouTube says is allowed to be spoken about. But what, what becomes next? In the, in the next uh, realms of where innovation goes from Malta. Okay, so basically what we were doing um, these last few years was creating this framework, um, uh, educating the people, the industry. Uh, now we want to see applicants come forward to start using and benefit from the framework. For AI, we have a plan for the coming three years, but our vision is for 10 years. Wow. So uh, I think now, Having all this coming together, um, I think if we focus on implementing what we're saying here and uh, instill more trust in the technology so that the user will embrace it and yeah. use it more because they, they really see the benefit of using the technology, I think. Yeah. It's another okay, major, so major milestone. So that, here's, that the, here's the hardest question. But it might be an easy question, but I can throw the, the wild card question. How much is the Maltese government actually trying and using things like blockchain and AI themselves? Yes, it is. In fact... And are there any examples you can give of that? So, uh, the, our, my authority is using the blockchain because all the certificates that we are issuing are, 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 are on the blockchain. So you're, oh, so the certificates themselves are on the blockchain as yes, well? Yes, the certificates wow. are on the blockchain. Amazing. The education certificates in Malta are on the blockchain. Oh my god. The university and the campus. America, are you listening to this? Oh my god, this is uh, so cool. The identity Malta agency is looking at the self sovereign identity right. on the blockchain. The uh, rental agreements will be on the blockchain from this year. And, the, and also the Malta business register. Right. So that's on blockchain. On AI, as part of the strategy, we have yeah. six pilot projects okay. that, that the government will implement in the coming three years. Wow. Because we want an AI powered government. A government that leads by example. So the private industry, the private sector, will look at 
the government is an example of what they are doing. And not just for Malta, but I think you're setting the example for the world. To be fair, I mean, you know, as you know, Yuri and I, as you know, podcasters, authors, advisors, and consultants in the world crypto, we see a lot. And I have to say, I am, I am really surprised. I, I mean, I've been twice now to the Malta Blockchain Summit. I've seen your prime minister present. I've seen your ministers present. But to actually hear it from you guys directly and what you're doing, this is like, this is like really eye-opening for me as to how much you're doing. And I don't think we've come across that level of innovation and that level of commitment to innovation and change and driving adoption in technologies in general, the way I see what you guys are doing. And I can understand you are a company that's small, you do have limited resources, but you're really pushing the levels of innovation, and I think it's amazing. So, congratulations on what you've achieved so far. Thank so, you. Hey, is there anything else you'd like to share with the, with the audience before we go about Malta, how to get involved with Malta, any URLs they can check out? Yeah. So the the MBIA uh, URL is mbia.com. It's very simple. Okay. And for AI, it's malta.ai. Malta.ai. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice and simple. Well, we will put those links down below in the show for everybody to check it out. Again, thank you very much. We've got a drone flying over yeah. us inside of a hall in the Malta Block yeah. Summit. Again, this is Wayne from the, the CTO from Malta. Amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time. And we'll be back with more from the Malta Block Summit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.